All right, so this pickup, um, they came to me. Um, they said they had rebuilt the, overhauled all the injectors, new glow plugs and whatnot, because um, it was had a lot of hard starting issues, and overhauling the injectors, basically just doing the the simple way of just resealing them and and uh, putting shims underneath of the uh, solenoid and and whatnot um but they said it's just never quite right and you know it, it seems to run good but every once in a while it has a miss at certain rpms and certain load demands um weird kind of a sound in the idle every once in a while and i found a couple of things and that's what we're gonna uh talk about here so the first thing I noticed was, you know, this is a aftermarket um, valve cover. I think like Dorman makes a similar one. I don't know if this is a Dorman. Um, they said they got this from uh, Napa Auto Parts, and you can notice it doesn't have a plug on here um, like the OEMs. This is an OEM gasket right here but you see it has another another whole plug in here it's pretty much almost identical to the one on the outside now I kind of like this this particular design like this without having a plug just a straight pass through like that there's less connections to uh, give you um, you know any problems that way so I don't really think that there's um, I don't think these are bad gaskets, even though, you know, there's some Dorman products, especially on six liters and all that stuff. Don't ever use any Dorman products on six liters, but for something like this, I don't think it's that big of an issue. But can you see what happened right here? That wire, you know, it's it's coming out here, and they got a zip tie there, and they got a zip tie right there. But look what happened to that wire. That wire got pinched. You know, because it needs to, it should have been over and down here more. Like this side right here. See how that went across? That's where that should have been. But it didn't stay because all they're using is zip ties. Now, as you can see with the uh, OEM. You know, for one thing, they have it go down just a little bit farther because that kind of hangs down just some right there where my index finger is on there. And that makes the wires come just ride right across that deal. It's got these little tabs on there that kind of help hold it in place, but there's no way of getting it, you know, wire pinched. I guess you could, could do this one if possible but most likely that's going to be plugged in that's going to be over here like this anyway so that's the first uh issue that i i found in this on this pickup uh the next issue was was uh this injector right here was in this position right here and um the way they do this is on this is the right right side bank so this is cylinder number two four six and eight and then over here you got one three five seven now at first glance this uh, you know different color blue you know might you might look at it and say oh maybe that one's been replaced or something at one point and that's that's definitely a possibility but when you take a closer look <clears throat> at each of the injectors i already switched it out um <clears throat> i had actually switched it out <clears throat> and was almost putting it back together until I realized that this <clears throat> had had that happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. Um, COVID-19 getting to me, I guess. Anyways, um, if you look on here, I'm trying to get where it's not a glare. Okay, so you got this, this AD with a part number on there. And then you go back to the one back there and we're not able to see it without a light. Oh, I apologize. Okay. AE. It's a different injector by just a little bit. 
and also you can see that, uh, that like that symbol right here and I don't know if that means anything we might talk about it it's a it's basically it's a long stroke injector compared to all the rest of them that are all um, AD injectors so let's go back into the office and let's talk about why they would do that all right so we'll do kind of a, a brief overview about you know the uh, different uh, types of injectors that are found in, in um, sorry I got kind of a squeaky chair going on here uh, all the different injectors that would be found in various models um, of the 7.3 which you know we know uh, came out in 1994 um, and a half basically um, and ran through uh, early part of uh, 2003 and so the injector code AA double A was used from uh, 1994 to 1997 um, and we'll talk about it just a little bit because uh, 1997 um, California featured pickups used an AB style injector we'll talk about that in just a second but the AA injector is a 98 cc single shot injector and um, you know so that, that that's the the older version of the power strokes just a single shot injector just and that's why they were uh, considerably a little bit louder than the ones that uh, you know came up uh, later and so in 1997 um, anything that was uh, you know sold in California you know came out with um, an AB injector which is a 130 cc split shot injector which means about the time the uh, pistons coming up it gives a little tiny bit of dose of, of uh, diesel and then as just as the piston starting to go down it gives the rest of it is kind of the the basic general <clears throat> idea behind the split shot injector and it um, you know made it a lot you know a lot quieter and you know just more more fuel efficient you know better all around um, obviously not as good as today's standards in uh, diesels but um, anyways um, the next uh, injector you most likely won't find in a Ford pickup, but there is an AC injector, uh, and some people, you know, put these in the older uh, 1994 to 97 or 96, you know, depending on if you go to California. Um, but the AC, an AC injector is a 160 cc single shot injector, um, similar to. Um, the AA, but they were only found in the international um, T444E engines. Um, you know, like I said, they just weren't used in the uh, power strokes that were in the Ford pickups. Um, the next uh, injector, which we just saw in that uh, 2002 pickup that we have out in the shop right now, so late 99s, your earlier 99s probably had um, ABs, and I haven't seen. I think I've seen a few ABs in some early 99 power strokes, but late 99 to 2003 used the AB, which is a 140 cc split shot injector, and that same injector was also used in in uh, the international um, triple four engines. Um, but that one injector that we haven't talked about yet, which is that AE injector um, that has just the one AE injector and it's supposed to go into the number eight cylinder um, that is also a 140 cc split shot injector but um, as this description that I'm kind of reading right here is based on an AB injector used in the number eight cylinder from the factory this is a long lead injector a, designed to address cackle from the number number eight cylinder caused by a sudden drop in fuel and oil pressure since cylinder eight fires immediately after cylinder six which is on the same bank and consumes fuel and oil pressure during its firing sequence all other injection sequences have 
or occur sequentially on opposing sides of the engine. So those are the only two that, you know, it's just one right after the other. Everything else is, is going to fire on one this side and the next one's going to fire on this side. And so you don't have that issue of it starving for fuel and possibly oil. So basically this long lead injector was, you know, installed in there to uh, cure that problem. Now your engine will run fine. You can actually put all AD injectors in there. I don't think you would want to put all AEs. I've never heard of anybody doing that. But um, definitely you can put all AD injectors in there. It's just you might hear some weird noises or something like that, but you might find a, a couple mis you know, misfires and all that kind of stuff. So that's basically, you know, just some, you know, basic information. You can find it all on, on the internet just as, as I kind of did. I just kind of, you know, sometimes it's neat to, you know, have a visual and everything like that. And, um, you know, I've uh, actually seen this a couple of times where I've, I've seen that injector out of place because, you know, the people just pull the injectors out, they have them all laying on a table. There's not really any reason um, that the injectors have to go back into the same uh, cylinder that they came out of. Um, you know, simply, it's, it's not like, you know, let, let's say a camshaft parts or something like that, that, you know, if you're just removing that kind of stuff and, and putting it back in, you know, they've all kind of worn together and everything and they've worn in the same spots. It's usually best to put, you know, like the same push rods and, and whatnot, all that kind of stuff, you know, back together if you're reusing it. But an injector is kind of just a standalone type of thing. It's, it's basically just in there and it's, you know, it's connected electrically. There's really not an issue with you know switching all the rest of the injectors out it's just that make a point that, that one AE injector is uh, slightly different than the ADs and you're going to have all ADs and one AE so that AE injector needs to you know be in the number eight cylinder and so you know there's a uh, little information on power stroke injectors that you probably didn't know but anyways uh thanks for uh watching and uh, stay tuned for, for more and we'll see you next time.